And uh, oh, that wasn't three minutes beforehand, was it? There we go. Twenty more delta V. There we go. What do we got? Good job we got some spare delta V. That's all I'm saying. We are in the process now of crashing into Kerbin. That's fine. We've got plenty of gas to save ourselves from that. Just let it have a little think about where it is and what it's going to do. It does a bit of that, which panics me when that does that. And there it goes. Right, we need just to trickle in um, we just tr trickle in a little bit of prograde which just seems silly because we want to kill all our speed not gain more of it let's worry about that about when we get to about here shall we we've got lots and lots of delta v so F5 for safety, we'll walk there. Well, we're moving really slow at the moment, beginning to pick up speed. Right, that's fine. Let's Warp a bit closer. Right, now we're going to do our little trick of um, burning halfway between retrograde and prograde to kill off some speed. But we're going to burn. Um, no, between retrograde and radial. Which should be raising our periapsis. There it is. But at the same time, should be killing our speed. There you go, speed is going down. bit nearer the retrograde to get that to about 30-ish. As long as this stays at about 30, 32 ish, I am happy. Not got much fuel left now. Thirty two, thirty three, that's fine. Fifteen thingies of fuel left. Don't want to be too shallow, I want to burn up. We're not as far out as we were when we come back from Minmus, so that's uh so that's good. So about here we'll be absolutely fine. Could 
will be on the uh, bright side of the of the of the planet as well, which would be nice. A little bit high now. Don't want to skip out the atmosphere either. Six units left. Two units left, We're about to run out. We have what we have right now. And we're out. We will stage as well in that direction. And we're at 31,500. F5, we're locked in. This is what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to get to here. And then we'll start prepping the craft ready for re-entry. Oh, hold on a second. What do we got here? What do we got here? We got we're losing power. Are we eclipsed? We are. We are. We are eclipsed. It is going down slowly. Let's turn off the SAS. Does it make any difference? No, not a lot. Uh, that probo dober down, say, are a bit of a pain. Um, to be honest, there's not an awful lot we can do. Sun will rise. We will enter into the sun before re-entry. We've got no power at all now. There's the sun, and here it comes back in. We're fine. So start prepping. Let's just check what we got. Um, so we can grab a solar particle. We can't uh, collect solar particles. That's an extra one. Always worth it. And we'll close that up. Um, we will uh, toggle sensors just close these doors you see that's good just in case it has any effect I don't think it does but just in case it does have any effect um, I'm gonna F5 again because I am quite happy at the moment check the map that's so we'll walk to here uh, we'll soon begin our re-entry Let's uh, put in one of these panels. In it comes. Now the only thing I'm not sure about is this extra weight on the top, whether that will affect our re-entry profile. So I will want to be using SAS to keep us on the retrograde. There we go. Um, just using the reaction wheels in the craft itself. So we're now in the atmosphere. So let's get that panel in. and rotate so that we are coming in quite nicely let's have a look what the uh, landing oh quite near Kerbin hopefully not on top of the mountains internal views there's a window here somewhere that does look a bit scary doesn't it oh what's getting hot this is always a worry thermal we see what's getting hot oh I don't know what that was 
command pod is getting hot. Something's exploding. Don't know what those explosions were. We'll have a look. That could just be our debris. It might have been just our debris following us, I think. That was exploding. Command pod is quite hot, making sure we're on our retrograde as much as possible so the heat shield is taking the brunt. The ablators have got plenty to wear off there. I think that's the KSP should be around here somewhere, I'm not entirely sure where. Up here somewhere maybe. be hitting a thicker atmosphere pretty soon so hopefully we'll lose a lot of speed before then. There's the KSP right there. Um, I'd like to say I planned this as a landing. So, um, so well, I planned this. The temperature's coming down for everything now. Um, we'll be looking to throw out the um, The, uh, the parachutes very very shortly. Let's see if there's any science. I think material study would get us about three. I we'll think we'll just save that until we uh, land. Oh, I suppose. If I nearly hit the EVA report, then let's observe the material bay. Why not? Let's give us a, a couple. Of, a point two. They are always worth it. Um, we can throw out the um, drogue chutes. Um, still at 12,000 meters up, so absolutely no rush at all. The nearer we get to KSP, the more money we get back for this. So that's, uh, I'm still not going to do an EVA. So. 9,000 meters up, oh, 7,000 from the uh, from our terrain, we must remember. So, we'll throw, throw the drogues out now. Don't have to worry about the thermal anymore, that's doing fine. Don't have to worry about electrical charge or anything, we are absolutely fine for that as well. We just turn off the SAS now. Um, 4,000 meters up, let's uh, think about throwing out this above the terrain, you see. Throw, throw out the main chutes now, do you think? Why not? Off they go. That brings us down to a nice, a gentle, hopefully, 5-ish meters per second, if that. Any other science we could do? Well, there's a mystery goo around here somewhere that will give us 0.1 if we're lucky. Point 0.1, there we go. Never know, and it may make the difference one day. We're sending the rescue trucks over. Um, Bob prefers um, uh, biscuits with his cup of tea. Um, they should be on the truck on the way over. Um, the tea will still be warm uh, without the need of thermos flasks for this landing, which is uh, which which is one of a, a first for Kerbal for our Kerbal space program. Um, a little worried now regarding the inclination of the slope we're about to hit. Not a lot we can do about it. Is there a better way we can rotate round, perhaps? We can rotate round, so if we do fall on our back, the door won't be blocked. So, 300 meters up. 250 meters up. This is from the terrain again. 150 meters up. 
100 50 30 4.8 meters per second we landed and we did fall over can we get back up right am I risking more than I should do am I risking more than I should to try and get the right way up okay let's uh oh I'm now out of control I'm not doing any of this now now the door is blocked that's fine we're rotating round and now we're standing up no we're not rotating round and standing up standing up rotate back no we're down again oh I'm thinking that maybe this is a bad idea right stop there let's have atmospheric scan and let's see what happens with that ooh, ooh, ooh. there we go so 1.4 there well it stabilized us um, that, sticking that out let's see whether you can EVA and can you take the data and restore that take the data and restore that and then board and then we can observe it again and observe it again that's another 0.6 and wait for it 1.5 it's not worth the effort this is it let's grab a surface sample 8.1 that's more like it grab board and this time we're recovering the vessel so we gain from that just the 1000 science um, from all the different biomes that we landed in and stuff we earned about 23,000 so what's that just about a quarter of the cost of the craft I can't remember what it costs now um, and uh, Bob has gained 3 XP which is excellent he got the research ribbon for a thousand or more science points um, flying at Mach 4 uh, below 30,000 meters first flag on the moon significant uh, contract ribbon would have completed a, a contract first moon surface EVA um, mountain lander because he landed in the mountains uh, landed on the moon first Matt moon orbital EVA heavy vehicle ribbon for riding a vehicle of 250 tons and awarded for launching a vehicle with a total mass of 250 tons what's the difference between that and that that one launch and that one you just sit on it anyway thousand science what else we got here world first for um, going to the moon and coming back so we got a thousand science we've got a million quid um, and we didn't kill anyone which is which is pretty good uh, that's not the one I want to look at that's the one I look at um, Bob I oh, didn't even quite level up look at that that's a shame all that work he didn't even level up um, orbit around the moon and plant a flag on the moon. Uh, old round Kerbin and plant a flag on the moon. So yeah, we need to find something else to get you just a few uh, extra points. Um, Master, thank you very much for your help um, during that mission. Uh, you were right; we had plenty of fuel. So uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, come and join me next time as well. And uh, in the meantime, go check out my YouTube videos.
um, or if you watch it on YouTube, then um, follow me on twi uh, Twitch. Uh, that's um, Aowick. Um, so twitch.tv forward slash Aowick. And uh, yeah, and let's go flying together. So thanks very much for, for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please consider giving me a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to hear about when I do some more videos. In the meantime, do you, if you want to click on one of the other videos that I've done on uh, on a different game, then uh, these are my latest ones. Please go ahead. Or if you click on the next video in this series, that'll take you directly to the next video in this series if I've done it and uploaded it. Thanks for watching.